also a large explosion in Aleppo has destroyed a hotel and several other buildings. A group called the Islamist Front has claimed responsibility for the attack. Now, earlier, the group tweeted what they called an, an excellent video of their fighters uh, blowing up the hotel. But let's show you, before we show you that, let's show you a bit of where this actually took place. So it took place in Aleppo, but let's take you a little bit closer because it struck the Carlton Hotel in the Old City. Now, that's next to the medieval part of the city. An opposition activist have said that the government troops that were based there, uh, many of them have now been killed. Well, I mentioned that uh, video posted by the Islamist Front. Uh, let's take a look at it now. Now, the BBC has not been able to fully verify this footage, but we believe it's a uh, it, that it is a genuine a Syrian activist sources say that Islamist rebels placed explosives in a tunnel that they had dug beneath the hotel prior to that explosion. Now, it's been very hard to get through to people on the ground in Aleppo today, but we did manage to speak to Basil. He's a pro-rebel activist and he sent us this video describing this morning's events. Today morning we, he uh, we heard two explosions, then uh, we knew that one of them were, was in the old city, in Carlton Hotel. Uh, some people argue that free army should not make explosions there in the old city, but actually it's controversial. Uh, uh, the regime is taking this old building, old building as uh, military bases for, for him, and uh, these military bases are killing us all the time. Well, Edgar Jalad joins us from BBC Arabic TV. Edgar, thanks for joining us. Perfect. Details have been coming out all day on this story. What's the very latest? Well, the latest is what we are trying to know, the casualties about it, because the government didn't issue so far any official statement, and they are trying uh, to uh, play it down a little bit, because in the morning they mentioned that a big blast uh, happened in Aleppo, and then this was removed from the website of the national agency. Uh, and uh, instead, they said there, there was a target, a, a blast that targeted the, the old citadel, uh, which is a historical and uh, UNESCO uh, uh, World Heritage protected. So uh, we don't know much about what's happening, but watching these pictures and knowing the importance of this space will really reveal or will picture a little bit the situation that uh, a lot of people died in this building.